Hello there and welcome to my workshop. Uh, the next two or three videos are going to be slightly different. Um, I've got a job to do on a recent acquisition that I've got and that is a Mercedes-Benz. Now this is a 28 year old Mercedes E-Class which uh, I picked up extremely low mileage but it has been left out in the sun and well I don't know exactly what has happened to the the bonnet I think it's been resprayed before but these are they're actually pit marks and the, it's gone right through to the metal it started to go rusty and the main problem with it is, as it, I think you might be able to detect here, the top gel coat or clear coat has come off in places, which happens in Australia a lot. And I'm going to show you how to repair the gel coat uh, on this wing. I will be doing that today. So what I'm going to be using, or the type of equipment that you will need, to do this type of repair on the, the guards. Um, panel filler or body filler. Primer. Uh, now I always use a fairly good primer. Don't go getting the cheapest off the cheap shelf. Um, I've had the um, Super Cheap Auto in Australia actually will um, mix the paint for you they'll match the paint and uh, mix it and put it in aerosol cans for you or they'll put it you know they'll mix it in a in a in a in a paint tin for you to spray it yourself um but i'm going to i've got spray guns but i'm going to do it the uh not necessarily the easy easy way but uh, the way that probably 90 percent of people would repair their cars I suppose with an aerosol cap and of course now this this is the clear top coat okay so cars especially in Australia do need a clear coat that does protect the paint um, you'll need a, an assortment of grades of paper all the way up to 1500 okay You'll also need a good masking tape, okay? Because you, you know you need this to, to make a barrier between the good paintwork or where you don't want paint to go uh, on the rest of your car. So the first thing we need to do is to mask off areas of the panel work. We you know we don't want to scratch or put paint on of any description. So we use good masking tape, painter's masking tape. Okay, so I've masked everywhere off now and because we just want to blend these edges in to the colour of the paint, in other words, sort of knock this edge back, I'm going to use 600 paper and we're, we're going to use, this is wet and dry paper, we just rub this back. And what we're doing as well, we're taking the glaze off, as in, um, I suppose, marking it up, scratching it with uh, minute little scratches. So the layer of uh, top coat that we put on 
has something to attach to. I don't know whether the camera's picking this up, but um, as I'm rubbing this um, top layer out, uh, I'm finding in areas that it's it's actually starting to flake. So I'm going to have to, well certainly in this area here, I'm going to have to take the gel coat completely off down to the uh, actual paint colour and I've just revealed here uh, a previous repair. I've actually gone through the paint there and that's a little bit of body fiddle there that I can see. Um, so I'm going to have to completely repaint this. I thought I was going to get away with just knocking this back and uh, putting a fresh clear coat on top but uh, no that's not going to happen. So I've got a bit of work ahead of me here so I've got to take this gel coat well not gel coat but um, clear coat completely off down to the paint and uh, then we'll prepare it for painting. Okay I've gone all over the area now and I've sort of feathered it back and you can't feel any imperfections they're sufficiently rubbed out. I've got off all the um, top clear coat that is going to come off. The rest is pretty stable. And um, now I'm going to mask up. And that's just with uh, ordinary newspaper. Which is very easily done. And then put on your existing, whether the barrier, where your barrier is, your barrier tape. But making sure you do overlap. And there's no paintwork showing that you don't want coated with new paint. Okay, this all prepped. You need to shake the paint for about five minutes and always wear a mask. Okay, so here we go. Holding about uh, six to eight inches away from the, the panel and start the spray off the panel. Make sure we've got paint coming through. And don't be tempted to put too much paint on all at the same time. Even movements. Don't be too tempted to put too much paint on per coat. And when you, in between coats, turn the can upside down and just give it a, that will clear any paint out through the nozzle and stop any splatter. And when you start to spray, just spray some on your paper Make sure the nozzle is clear and paint is coming out.
Okay, now what I do, now these are quartz halogen um, floodlights. Each one of these is 500 watts, so there's two kilowatts there. Uh, well, of light, but I'm using it for the heat to warm that panel up. Now, the drying process in between coats will, you know, sort of triple or even quadruple. Um, so I can get each coat done in about 10 minutes. So I've done five coats there, and it's taken me an hour. So now I will leave this to dry like this because what will happen it will look slightly orange peely um, slightly like a, a, a the surface of an orange but that as it dries that sort of seems to fade you will never ever get uh, a finish like Mercedes Benz um, but you can do a very, very reasonable job with uh, an aerosol can. Uh, and it actually turns out, you know, you can make it turn out nearly as good as coming out of a, a, a professional shop with an aerosol can. So um, I'm going to give this now about uh, 15 to 20 minutes and then we're going to put the clear coat on. Okay. So now I've put five coats on this of colour and that was about, um, the last coat I put on was about 20 minutes ago. So what you need to do is just find an area where, which is, you know, you wouldn't put your hand anywhere on here, but somewhere where you know the paint is tacky. You should be able to touch the paint and not stick to it or it come off on your finger okay but it will feel I don't know slightly rubbery maybe to the touch and it's at that point that you put your top coat on so here we go so top coat or clear coat that is So at this point you see all you see the result of all your hard work because this looks absolutely beautiful okay so it's been about 30 minutes and it's pretty dry it's dry enough to take the uh, masking off just be careful taking your masking off that you don't let some of this lie on the paintwork. So just do it very carefully and you'll be all right. Okay, so there you go. It's a perfect finish. And I know what you're going to say, oh, it's a different colour. Well, yes it is. Um, this is the Mercedes original colour. This is 30 years old. So, um... And, you know, to me, it really doesn't matter because 
you will understand I'm doing the whole car. I will eventually be doing the whole car uh, because there's not a panel on here that isn't affected with uh, some sort of problem and uh, you know the boot lid is uh, is all scratched and nearly every panel even even the roof so I will be doing the whole car I hope you've enjoyed the video today and I hope it's been a help to you and the next video we will be repairing the left hand guard now that one will involve some putty work, some filler and primer and then full painting and then the next video after that I should be doing the bonnet and um, well we'll see where it takes us. If you have any questions please ask them in the comments section and uh, if I can't answer them I'm sure someone will and uh, well thank you for joining me and it's bye for now.